back. I've got another cool video for you guys today. Um, I decided to do something different with my hydroponic Dutch bucket system. And uh, I guess we'll just get right to it and I'll show you. So here we are. This is my old pump, my old electric pump here. Uh, I had it hooked up to a timer, a little plug-in timer, so it would turn on twice a day. And that runs off of the extension cord that goes across the yard and over there into the wall. And uh, <clears throat> let's see, this is 396 gallons per hour. Yeah, it's actually way overkill for uh, the Dutch buckets here. So um, on Amazon, I found something cool a solar powered uh, uh, pond pump. So, as you can see here, there is one cable going into the sump tank here, and that's for the heater. So I'll unplug that just to prove that I'm not pulling any kind of shenanigans here. Alright. And then you see another cord coming out here, and that one goes over here to just a little box set up just so I can test this out. Here's the little solar panel. It's actually uh, halfway decent built or build. Um, it's pretty tough. It's got aluminum, aluminum casing around the outside, and then uh, feels like a, a thick glass. <coughs> Pardon me, a fly flew in my mouth. Ah! A thick glass uh, cover to protect the solar cells. Now, as you can see, my hand on here. This is a very tiny solar panel. It's 10 watts. Uh, 10 watts, so it's about 100 volts DC. I got the little tester over here. I'm not sure if I can do this with one hand, so I'm going to set this down for a moment and unplug the pump. Alright, the pump is unplugged. See, it's just a positive and negative. And now, let's see, how am I going to do this with one hand? Alright, I'll try not to get zapped here because I did this earlier and it made a bunch of sparks. Uh, I don't want to get electrocuted. I know it's only 100 volts, but it'll still scare the crap out of me. Alright, come on. I did this earlier when nobody was watching. <laughs> okay. Uh. You might just have to take my word for it. I can't do this. I don't have my GoPro out here. Uh, maybe I'll do another video later. But let me plug this guy back in. I'm going to put you down for a second. And, alright, we got it plugged in. It has this little waterproof cap on here so you can thread it on so the rain doesn't get you mess anything up in there. But, that's just a mock setup for now. I was just doing a test. It literally took me five minutes to hook this up. I didn't need any expertise. It's just plug and go. And then the pump. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see the pump down there. It's very tiny. It's really small. But if you can see right there the water draining out. That means the pump is working. And then we go up here to test, uh, check the drip lines. And there we go. Um, it's pretty low pressure. We'll go through and we'll check all of these, make sure that there's enough power at that little pump. And we got water coming out of that guy. Test this one. Yep, there's water coming out of there. And it's kind of bushy back here. Can Maybe I better not pull these ones out. I might not get them back in. Uh, we'll go all the way down here. See water coming out of there. And water coming out there. And then in the very last bucket, it has water coming out there too. So, no more electricity. I'm not using these pumps anymore for this setup. So, I'll go down here, and unplug it. Adios. No more of that. So, I just need to build something better than this little five gallon bucket to attach this thing on. And then maybe I can mess around with something that'll track the sun. But this is going to work uh, great for this project. Um, 
I did have to uh, do some uh, creative MacGyvering here. So when you get the pump, it comes with four of these little standpipes. And I thought, well, what if I just take one of them and attach it to a half inch PVC? It almost fits inside, so I had to take a heat gun and heat this end up, and then I was able to place this inside here. And so I go from whatever this is, uh, I don't know, a uh, quarter inch or whatnot, and it goes to the half inch. So it's pretty easy. I just heated that up and then stuffed it in there. You gotta be careful because it'll burn your fingers. But I was able to attach that, and then this attaches to the top of the pump. And uh, it's working. It's working right now. <laughs> I'm actually really excited about that. So I have an idea later on. I'm going to put like another bucket up here somewhere. And then uh, maybe have this just go into that bucket. And then I can attach as many of these as I want to the bottom of the bucket so that I'm not using the pressure from the pump to push the water out through the lines. Instead, I'll be filling up the bucket with the pump and then have some drains coming out of the pump, or out of the bucket, sorry, and then those will go to the grow beds. But we'll have to look at that in the future. I've got another day off tomorrow, so we'll see if I can come up with something creative and uh, make this look a little nicer. But that's a very tiny solar panel. I didn't really think it was gonna work, to be honest. Um, and it's not very light either, so it came with a plastic little plastic uh, stand there. I don't really like that, so I'm going to try to come up with something a little bit better and more durable. Maybe even attach it up here somewhere. Off the corner of the roof, perhaps. But we'll see. I'll have to sit down and think about that. But I guess while we're out here, we can look at some of the tomatoes. Tomatoes are looking good. Got some really weird... I guess that would be some blossom end rot. Which is strange because there's another tomato right next to it that's four times larger and it looks beautiful. Oh, I don't know. Whatevs. We'll go with that. We've got the scotch bonnets. And, uh, the Big Zach over here. Big Zach's doing really good. It's a really good looking plant. Uh, thank you Brent again for that. And I did take some cuttings off of that and I put them in here may not be able to see it but they did take I literally just pinched it off of the I, I pinched the sucker off the plant and then I placed it down in here and it's already growing uh, I did that a week ago um, I guess we will uh, we're gonna wrap that up so hope you guys are having a good week thank you guys for tuning in uh, if you want to help me out and you want to follow along just hit that subscribe button click the little bell next to subscribe and you'll get a notification each time I produce a new video and uh, yeah, as always. Oh, if you have any comments or questions, pop those down at the bottom. I will put some information about the uh, the solar panel and the pump that I got from Amazon. I'll post that info down there so that if you guys want to try this out, you can do it too. So thanks again for tuning in and keep building.